The Brisbane Roar took to the training field at Suncorp Stadium this morning under the watchful eye of their new coach. Angie Postacoglu has only been at the helm for two weeks but already has the respect of his players. Uh, he's very organised, uh, great discipline um, and you know, obviously he'll be looking for his maiden victory and he'd want to get it as soon as possible. The home game against the Jets will see the return of left fullback Danny Tiato from a hamstring injury. Team captain Craig Moore is also coming back from suspension. Despite four consecutive defeats, the new coach is confident his team can turn their form around, starting with tomorrow night's clash against the Newcastle Jets. And the fact that both sides are down the, the, the bottom half of the table is not a real indication of, uh, I think you know, both us and, and Newcastle have got some of the best attacking players in the league, so uh, and they'll be on showcase tonight, tomorrow night. Nick Masters says even though four losses in a row doesn't read well, it's only a number. You know, it means nothing to us. You know, we've, it just starts from uh, nil-nil as from the zero minute and you know, we want to score more goals in the opposition. Ticket prices for adults have been slashed to $15 for the match, the lowest in four years. With sparse crowds for most of the season, both the organisers and the team are hoping to entice the fans back to the stands. Hoping, yeah, for sure. Um, hoping you know, the people are, uh, have seen something in, in the effort of the boys last week to, to, to come out in numbers tomorrow. Gemma Cutting, QUT News.